Hey guys, this is Josh from rockaboutotheme.com. I just wanted to come by today um, to go over adding a quick um, social sharing plugin to your website. This way, at the end of your articles, you can have a couple quick buttons for people to share out your posts and help you get some uh, links without links. As long as the content is good, they should be sharing it. So let me show you kind of what it looks like. So. On the front here, I've just got a normal blog entry up, <coughs> but at the bottom, you'll see the share this post, you know, Twitter, and then Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and email. Um, there's some other options within this, but this is super lightweight, so it doesn't add uh, load or slowing to your website. So let's go ahead and jump over here. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to plugins, and then you're going to want to go to add new. And what you're going to look for is, I want to grab the name so that you guys have a chance to see, is the scriptless social sharing. So this plugin itself is kind of cool because it basically is a super lightweight SVG based um, sharing application. So it just gets a, a installed really easily. But once it's added, it's got some settings so you can customize which ones you want to have down here at the bottom, obviously. Some of them don't work anymore. A lot of programs have yet to get rid of like Google+. Plus. Um, the reviews are all really good. So that's why I decided I would go ahead and give this a try. <coughs> so what I did was install and activate it. And then what you do is you just want to go down into settings. And it's going to be right here. Scriptless social sharing. And then what you prefer is a SVG. Because it's going to load much faster than using a web font which will slow down your website when it needs to load the font or custom icons where you have to provide the icons you want to use um, for the output you can use the icon itself but icons and text um, and then icons and text with always showing the text or text only um, I would say always just do icon and text but icons actually nowadays are probably more than enough because everybody knows the symbols for all of the major players um, as to <coughs> plugin styles um, you always want to load the main style sheet um, and then for font awesome which is not a need because we're using the SVG built in um, for containers keep flexbox keep full width um, you can do auto and it'll adjust a little bit but you just want it across the full width every single time and then padding is the space between um, I left it as a default at 12 depending on uh, what look you want you may go up a little bit and give a little bit more spacing between the buttons um, the heading is customizable so if you don't like share this post if you want to put something else here you can type in anything you want to have and sh it'll swap out what's actually within this section right here and then here's where you get a chance to share and order them so I just left it as the default ones but with the forums and everything else that I've seen reddit might be a, you know a good one to have in here in which case then you could switch it around move it further up the field or down the field um, and then there's additional ones for WhatsApp and SMS is the only other one I'm not really familiar with Telegram or Pocket but the options are there and then for where you want them to be set uh, there's a lot of cool setups so what you can do is have them be at the very top uh, after it or manually placed in the content itself and then pages the same way so you can easily put them wherever and it's not just one I mean you could place them kinda anywhere you want to do it and then for Twitter shares they have to have a, a an actual like a account tied to it so I just tossed in one of my old generic accounts and then <coughs> this is the subject on the email that it'll default fill in so you can edit this and fill in what you'd be interested in having in there automatically uh, for anybody if they were to click to share it by email um, and that way maybe they can be uh, more tailored to I you know I found this on this website it's pretty awesome here's the link but that way you could put some more in about yourself and then uh, you want to go ahead and save the changes right and that sets it all up and then when you come back up front refresh and then look now I've got Reddit in here you got it before and after the post giving you a chance to have both in here if you click Facebook <coughs> you'll see it'll pop up give it a second and it'll start to fill in everything for you for you to fill in in your newsfeed uh, Pinterest 
<clears throat> I believe is the same. Yeah, so it's going to take a picture automatically for you. And then you can always customize it further. And then, um, actually, I've never done the Reddit one since we just turned it on, so. Oh, there we go. So you get to choose your community you want to post it to and the link. And you can get it shared out to Reddit automatically easily, too. And then everybody knows Twitter with the characters and limits and everything. So hopefully that actually gets some people interested in adding some social sharing onto their website. Um, again, feel free to come by akabatotheme.com uh, for all your customization needs. We basically <coughs> specialize in taking, tweaking, modifying, and helping tailor Akabato to exactly what you're looking for. And we'd be interested to help you if you need any help. Thank you. Bye.